top of the morning to you. In fact, it's early morning for me. I mean, it's early, I'm up, but yeah, it's only 8.30, so here I am in the park and I'm trying my microphone. Hopefully you didn't hear that, but I think you did. So I'm gonna have to edit that out. Yeah, this microphone was only $36 on Amazon and it had high ratings. So I got it thinking maybe it will be good enough. Maybe it won't. And I still am deciding on that. Like when I record without this external mic in my office, it usually goes fine. So that's what I've been doing. But like, I usually have to turn up the volume when I do that, when I'm editing. And I was hoping if this was a good enough external mic, it wouldn't require me to turn up the volume. It would already be high enough. I don't know. If you have any um, Bluetooth microphones that you can recommend for me, please drop it, drop it for me um, wherever email me or something because I'd really appreciate a recommendation for a good external Bluetooth microphone that I can use and also one that I can put a wind guard on because this one is shaped such that I don't think I can unless I make one myself and I've been thinking about how to do that but yes and here I am at the park and I love the park and I wanted to do this video for you in the park because it's morning and it's easier for me to focus when I'm outdoors. And guess what? This morning I found, uh, to, so today I believe is the 19th of April. Yeah. And so Easter was maybe a couple weeks ago and I did find a Easter egg that hadn't been found and it has been eaten into because they put candy or something in here for the children and it was eaten into by some animal maybe more than one, because look at that small hole. Yeah, so, and there's of course no candy in there. What is there in there? Just flower petals and dirt. Yeah. So I feel slightly lucky, but not as lucky as the animal that got this. Crazy candy. I hope they're okay from eating that candy that they made for the children. So, well, I'm really happy that I have been able to upload almost every day didn't expect that of myself, didn't, and, and don't actually, don't actually expect that, but it's been happening, and you know I love making these videos, I mentioned that before, and I do, I love making the videos, probably more than any of the other work that I do, and currently I'm not monetized, so I don't get anything from this, but except my own, my own, my own, my own enjoyment. I have been watching my older videos, not my oldest videos. Those are still, those are still hard for me to watch the oldest videos because that was early on and I was slightly nervous and didn't know some things that I've learned. I, I'm watching my recent videos and I notice that I spoke about on my the video I, you, I do for you with my collection where I show you around, I, I mentioned this one briefly, White Musk by Jovan, or Jovan, however you say the J in French, but Jovan White Musk, and I did not mention, this is the one for men, and those of you who are vintage frag hounds probably know because you looked at the bottle, but a lot of you might not know because this isn't all that popular, I don't think. I haven't heard many people talk about it. And yes, Jovan makes a white musk for women as well. However, I don't have it right now. I have in the past and I got it, you know, a drugstore, but I don't like it. Uh, maybe I need to get a better version or what, but I, I do like the idea of white musk. I like white musk, but I got this one for men because I thought it's not gonna smell like that, the one that they made for women, and it doesn't smells very different. The one they have for women is so incredibly sharp. The floral, probably lily of the valley. It's in there and it just projects like crazy. And you know, I love that, but I don't want it. I don't want it projecting that like crazy. 
I don't uh, like that. So yeah, let me know if you have if you have a recommendation on a year time period for women's Jovan white musk that you like that I might like based on what I just said. But yeah, so I wanted to clarify that this is the one for men and I'm still making up my mind about it. It smells similar to Egyptian musk. I know I'm coming back to Egyptian musk. The wind's blowing. I hope this is going to be okay for the audio. Yeah, it's probably got Lily in there. I haven't looked at the notes. And then I also have another version. I have another version of Jovan White Musk for men. This one. This is a tester. This is more vintage than the one I just showed you. Cologne spray, two ounce. Um, it says Quintessence Chicago. All the power, but not overpowering. Yeah, like the white one for women I think is overpowering that I smell. And then it says subtle, easygoing, unmistakably male. So I'm gonna smell this because I'm pretty sure they're different. This one doesn't have that writing on it. So I don't think it was marketed quite that way when it was produced. I can't smell much from the atomizer at this time, but I have used it. I, I didn't sp spray anything right here that smells like it. I don't have any smell there. Yes, I did three sprays. Probably didn't need to do so much, but I don't want to have to redo. And then on the other side, I'm going to do this one. Yeah, that'll be a fine spot to spray it. Yeah, I just needed to. That's a, that's a good sprayer. Slightly good. Powerful. Gets enough juice out. Ooh, yeah. This one's more musky. More manly. Hmm. This one's for sure. It smells a lot more modern. This one, more modern. Lighter, not as musky. This one's spicier. Spicier. Maybe slightly woody. This one's a lot richer, deeper, and in my opinion, better. It's a shame they do that. I don't know the difference in years. There's nothing written on the back. So I can't say the bottom has a five with a circle around it. You can't see it if I show you, but I'll show you anyway. Yeah, there's the circle, there's a five. It's still floral and lily of the valley. But there's just more base. There's just more base and the, the musks are more similar to what deer musks would smell like. I'm not saying there is deer musk in it. I'm just saying it smells like it. You know, there's a lot of, synth there are synthetics, including, including muscone, synthetic material that's a musk it, that is supposed to smell very much like deer musk. Yeah, this is so much lighter. In fact, it's already gone. Respray. Yeah, no, respray. And that, if that's not enough, then it's a, I just checked the audio and it's Ike, so I'm gonna go with it. Now, I did forget my drink. I got some, what am I drinking right now, today? Uh, I might be drinking Crave, Crave Fruit. It's a sparkling water, unsweetened sparkling water. They do put a little bit of sweetener in their iced teas, the Liquid Death but it's only agave and it's very mild. But they don't put any sweetener in their sparkling waters and I like that. But I'm having a hard time finding flavored ones that I enjoy like grapefruit is a grapefruit flavor. 
sparkling water that they just came out with and I like it um, all right. They have a cherry obituary. I think I showed you that one before. That one's I. And then um, the one I'm drinking, it's either grapefruit or I think it's super berry. But it's cute. It's like purple and stuff. I might have to go back and get my drink and then reef and then film more because I might get my my mouth might need to be, you know, I might need to drink something. Also, I wanted to show you the bottom of this bottle, the modern or more, more modern. This is still vintage, but this is more modern of the white musk, right, Jova? And that's the batch code, nine something, nine, three, zero, eight. Or if you turn it upside down, it's three, zero, two, six. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I think it's 3026. All these details. I hope it doesn't bother you. All the details that I give. I know I'm detail oriented. There's a train, you may hear it. It's coming by. It's a freight train. I love trains. Now, yeah, the reason I give you so much detail is because you guys lots and many of you viewers know more than me about these things so like just someone dropped in the comments a few days ago that avon batch codes are easy to decipher they're like British batch codes and there's a way to decipher it even if it's not in the check fresh database yeah so you guys know so much so that's why I give you some detail in these videos because, you know, it's not just today. It's not just my, you know, 30, 40 viewers that watch in the first few days right now. It's going to be in the future like you are getting to it when you get to it. You find it when you find it. And so extremely uh, knowledgeable frag hounds will hopefully watch my channel. And I believe they do. Also, another thing I brought here, just another side note, is I got this. This is Chaps, uh, probably vintage. Uh, it's empty, so I got it pretty cheap, like five bucks on eBay. It's Chaps by Ralph Lauren, and I was recommended this by a good friend, and I haven't smelled it before that I know. And this is the aftershave bottle. This is leather. This is real leather. It's stitched there and then there's the bottom it's got a sticker that's starting to come off and it's got writing but I don't I haven't taken the time to evaluate it and the reason I got it is because the leather because it protects the bottle from being broken so I wanted to carry stuff in my pocket in this like something that I wanted to decant into but this disappointed me because I wasn't aware that they made chaps with a non-metal cap. It just looks like metal. It's really plastic, really plastic. See the inside? And tell me if you watch and you know about chaps, because many of you do. See, there's the opening. Does chaps always come in a plastic lid or did they used to make it in a metal lid? I wanna know and because I'm, I'm, I want to get my hands on some chaps. I've been recommended it. I've been told it's great. It's going to be expensive because it's raw Lauren. May or may not be discontinued right now. I don't know. But as you look at it, you can see how oh, it's plastic. See there, like the top. It's so plastic looking, I can't get over it. And like the, the chrome finish is starting to come off in an unattractive manner. Sorry, there's somebody playing something over there. Hope you don't have to hear that. Mm. So I wanted this for use and I can easily decant into it. It's a pretty big bottle, but then I can carry it something, maybe my signature scent around in here with me all the time. Now I'm gonna test it out with water and see if it's airtight or watertight as far as the way that this seals currently, because I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it for something. 
most likely fragrance. And it's a cute bottle. I mean, it's small enough to fit in most pockets, especially men's pockets, possibly not women's pockets. You know how it is with women's pockets and such. You just can't get a big enough pocket in your pants for anything that's needed. So I don't know what it smells like because it's empty. Yeah, there's not a smell except smells a little bit like dirt but not much so I don't think that's the chaps aftershave that it was in there so eventually I'm gonna get my hands on another bottle of chaps just I'm I'm uh, not wanting to probably at all if it's gonna be like this kind of lid it's a disappointment to me yeah, this is like a prop this is like something you would use in a movie or a play a set that's how I see it this will go used this will be used a few more things that I have with me that I may not speak about in depth today is um, Jovan sex appeal for men this is a tester I also have a smaller bottle here I have a set of three, three separate fragrances in these bottles. They came together. I got Jovan Musk for men and, and Ginseng Energy for men. I haven't tested these out super thoroughly yet. And the, the things, if you, if you find this intriguing that says sex appeal, you're gonna find even more intriguing the way they marketed it. There's crazy things like written on the, yeah, here it is. Written on the front usually, but this is a tester, so it's written on the back. And it's also written on the box. Directions for testing. Spray on the palms of your hands and rub together. Now apply some to your face and feel its magnetic powers. It's an aftershave slash cologne, right? So it's an aftershave and cologne. Then it says, you'll experience a stimulating blend of spices and herbs created, get this, created for the sole purpose of attracting women, period. At will, period. Cody Inc., New York, New York. For attracting women, fine. But at will, like that almost makes it seem like, like you deserve it or something strange. I think this was from the 70s. I think this is from the 70s, it's kind of marketing. And I'm pretty sure this has been discontinued. This has got good reviews from vintage frag heads. So I picked it up. I wanted to get my nose on it. And I also wanted to make sure that the one I get, got had some aspect of this marketing here about attract for the sole purpose of attracting women at will. Just the way they punctuated it and stated it, it sounds so um, predatory. Now I see my bottle is cracked inside. It's not leaking, but it is cracked. See that? See that crack? How'd that happen? Let me drop it. I don't believe it was myself. Oh, uh, yeah. It's intriguing. I'm not going to spray it because I'm doing these other two. Yeah, I can't smell it well from that atomizer. This is just the cologne. So this is gonna smell slightly different than the cologne flash after shave. This is batch code 3258. And then the glass has a 17 on it. Mm -hmm. It's interesting smelling. I think that the cologne slash aftershave spray tester that I showed you here is good too. It's warm, spicy, 
slightly, just slightly boozy. Not like any vintage ones that I've been showing you lately though. It smells men's. It smells like men. A man who would want to smell sweet, probably sexy, probably sexy. Yeah, I'm not gonna put this on my skin. Well, I could, but yeah, I could, oh, there's something there. Yeah, there's something already there from pre previously, like probably last evening or something that I sprayed on there. So I'm not gonna spray it there. Yeah, I, I need to spray this one in order. No, yeah, there's something there. There's something there. I do douse myself before bed. Helps me relax and sleep. Makes me feel properly attired for bedtime. I'm looking on Parfumel and Fragrantica for Jovan White Musk for men. And uh, Parfumel says that this bottle that looks like this one was released in 1994. 1982 as a cologne and they also say that another bottle uh, I'll show it in the cutaway white musk for men was a, was an aftershave that was also released in 1992 by Cody they don't have anything as older so I guess it was released in 1992 as a cologne and as an aftershave and then I looked on Fragrantica, they don't have as much. They just have this bottle, looking bottle, but it looks pink, the juice, instead of the yellowish amber that mine is. It says for men, it says the stuff on the front, um, it says that the stuff that this has on the front about it being the power, all the power, but not overpowering. The box in the photo says that and subtle, easygoing, and un unmistakably male cologne spray. So it says this, and it says 1992 for Unforgrantica also. So I'm saying right now, it looks as though these both, looks as though these both were potentially um, launch 1992, not older. So I don't know what the Deer Musk laws were in 1992, but this does not smell overly uh, animalic in the Deer Musk way. Like it doesn't make me think, oh yeah, maybe that there's Deer Musk in here. It makes me think there probably isn't. It's probably a synthetic, a good synthetic, but not a great synthetic. It doesn't smell from the atomizer again. I guess it's a good atomizer if it's not wasting on here. All right, so then let's look at these accords. Well, I'm going to use for Grant, I'm going to use Perfumo. I'm going to use Perfumo because I'm just kind of leaning towards that right now. The cologne. White Musk for Men Cologne is a perfume by Jovan for men and was released in 1982. The scent is fresh, fruity, and it's being marketed by Cody, meaning it's probably not discontinued. They'd say if they thought it was, unless they hadn't updated it. It has a 6.6 .6 out of 10, and it has 33 ratings. The main accords, fresh, fruity, powdery, floral, and spicy. And the notes, green apple, citrus fruits, clove, geranium, melon, peppermint, thyme, white musk. It says white musk. It doesn't say anything like just musk or anything like that. So green apple and melon. And in the picture of the melon, it's red. So it looks like a watermelon. Yeah, that's the kind of melon that it looks like in the photo or the picture, the little description picture. Clove. Hmm. So maybe that's what's sweet. Did I say something sweet in here? No, that was sex appeal. Yeah, um, it's definitely white musk. It's 
related and similar to the white musk for women that I've tried. It's masculine. It's masculine and it reminds me of a man who has a job as a realtor. And he dresses up for work, even if he doesn't have enough money to fully dress up and get a bunch of suits and shirts. He's dressing up because he must to do that for, you know, coming across the way you need to come across when you're selling houses to people. You may even have more money than yourself. And you gotta have a decent car because you're meeting your clients, sometimes even driving your clients to houses. So this is what it reminds me of. It smells like someone who has a job like that who can't spend a ton of money on cologne, so they're getting Jovan White Musk, but they also want to smell clean and masculine and fresh, not overpowering. Yeah, smelling like a, you know, freshly showered kind of guy. That's what you're gonna smell like with this. Not bad, I mean, it's not bad. I, I don't think this is from 1982, this bottle. I'm gonna have to check this batch code. And I do think it's the 3026, not the one that starts with the nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cologne spray, and then it says vapor is there. Vaporizer, vaporizer, vapor is a tour. It's sp spelled in the French way, vapor is a tour. Anyway, um, this one's newer and this, this lid is way plastic. It's like thin plastic. And as, as a tester, this didn't come with a, a lid of any sort, but to me, it looks quite a bit older. And usually they don't make the testers of things in release in the same year. They don't usually make the testers look differently than the actual just regular one they sell. So that also means to me that this is probably newer than this. And it smells differently by maybe a couple, two, few, few years different. It's all right. But I don't want to smell like a man who just got out of the shower and has to sell real estate for a living. I just, but you know, I layer this because it's a white mask. I layer it. And it's certainly better than the women's. Maybe they came out with the women's in 92 as well. I have a feeling they may have. Checking on for Grantica database. White Must for Women by Jovan was released and launched in 1990. Just doing my due diligence here on Parfumo. Okay, Parfumo. Why aren't they saying that they have it? Let me just see if I erase the Jovan, maybe it will show. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, so glad I checked here because White Must for Women on Parfumo says it was released in 1992. Different years mentioned, stated. And it says that the scent is powdery floral, marketed by Cody, and so it's not discontinued and I've seen it around so it's still being produced for sure all right and then um, just out of curiosity the main accords for the women's white mask is on Parfumo powdery floral fresh sweet and animal yes yeah, sweet and exactly it's very sweet and then the notes on Parfum. Musk, Amber, Honeysuckle, Lang Lang, and Jasmine. I was incorrect when I said Lily of the Valley. It's actually this mixture of Jasmine, Honeysuckle, and Lang Lang. Well, looking at that, I think I would like it, but it's just too sweet. 
but this is probably way back in the day. So the newer ones that I've smelled, like the more modern versions of Jovan White Vest for Women, probably not as good. And this even has a main accord listed as animal. They don't say that for the men's. All right, so let's go back to the men's. Yeah. The men's is more spicy in the notes. Um, the women's has amber and those nice florals, Lang Lang, Honeysuckle, Jasmine, Amber, Musk. It is powdery. If you've smelled it, you know, White Musk for women is very powdery. What about for men? Powdery? Yeah. Well, powdery's there, but it's the third listed main accord, so it's not as much as uh, fresh. So, first fresh, then fruity, then powdery, then floral, then spicy. It's not that fresh to me. It's fresh like soap, not like, uh, like rosemary or sage or something more aromatic and like camphoric. It's not that type of, it's not that type of fresh. Yeah. Hmm. Makes me want to take a look at the vintage 1992 or 90. 1982 bottle of of Jovan Musk White Musk for women's because I am very curious to see about how animalic it's going to be and I'm probably going to like it. Probably going to like that. Especially with the honeysuckle. Come on, that's like hard to find honeysuckle in a lot of fragrances that are marketed at the drugstore. Lang Lang, 100%. 100%. Yeah, so wow. We're practically finished with this video now. Thanks a lot for watching and all the info you drop in the comments and such. I so appreciate it. I like the comment section to be like an addendum, an appendix, who knows, whatever it would be like where there's more information and maybe correcting me on my mistakes because I know and I notice I make mistakes in almost in not every video mistakes but the mistakes are there and they leave them there because I can't just like go take it down edit it better and bring it back up again because then it restarts everything and all the comments go away it's a new video then so we gotta do the corrections and edits and stuff in the comments below so if you see something that doesn't sound or you know look right maybe look at the comments maybe somebody has already corrected me and or maybe i've corrected myself even there's the train again another train different one this time love trains love trains hey if you love trains leave it in the comments because I like the comments. I like them to be fun, interesting, whatever you guys want. Not whatever, but you know what I'm saying. So. Uh, we have lots of trains here in Portland, Oregon. We have lots of bridges. There's lots of, I mean, there's rivers. We've got two rivers here in the city. And we've got the trains, the public transit, the buses, the Ubers, all of it. Lyft. We got it all. We got all kinds of transport, plus bicycles. They were cleaning the moss off the basketball court with a special machine that looks like a floor buffer. And it was making noise, so I didn't record there. So I found this little area away from it. And because I'm glad to see them maintaining this black basketball court, that means people will use it. I personally almost slipped and fell on it uh, about a week ago so when you maintain your park keep it natural but maintain pick up the trash and garbage then you're more likely to have a safe park for all the children and everybody that, that wants to to come down here and de-stress just walk through the park and de-stress doesn't have to be a huge park um and i come here because i feel inspired and all kinds of stuff here it's just a great place outdoors. My backyard isn't so hot. 
and it doesn't have these kinds of nice plants like this right here. What is this plant? It's pokey. It's pokey and it has yellow flowers. Do you know? Can you tell me? If you can tell me, drop it in the comments below. What plant is this? I feel like I do know, but like if you said it, I would recognize. It's not holly because I, well, it could be holly, but I don't see any berries. And I think it's different. I don't think it's holly. Is it hawthorn? Potentially. This is potentially hawthorn. Let me smell. I can't smell anything right now, but I have white musk on my nose. Yeah. Well, we've completed yet another set, another video. We've completed now another video uploading, hopefully today, if edits go well. And fingers crossed, Fingers crossed on the microphone. I listened to the first edit or the first clips and they were all right. And you can hear the wind when it blows. And that's all right as long as it's not going all over. Well, I'm so glad now I have more subscribers. I think I have 160 subscribers now. So we're getting up there, we're getting up there. Once we hit 1,000, we're gonna have a big something or other. We're gonna have something or other. I'm gonna do it. Fingers crossed and, and all that. Yeah, so I'm just looking at people making comments right now on my videos. And um, I mean, I've got some really great viewers and subscribers. And they do email me sometimes and I've, I like it. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I have too many to email back promptly because I want people to know that I care and I wanna know and I wanna interact. But at the same time, like as I get more viewers, I might not be able to respond as well. And I don't want the quality to go down. I want the quality to continue, maintain. So if you're watching this in the future, because this is 2024, April 19th, if you're watching this in the future, which you probably are, please, uh, please enjoy these videos. One day they'll be vintage even, and maybe they'll still be YouTube and people can still watch them. Maybe in a few years we'll get more info, and then there's going to be more info in the comments below. I'd like to make more videos today. May or may not have the energy to do so, but uh, at least you know that I'm being pretty consistent with giving you videos to watch. So when you have a moment and you need something to relax or listen to, you can just put these on and like just listen or watch. You can watch too. And um, like I would kind of like it to be an ASMR-ish type of channel. Informative as well and calming for people. Because I would be looking for that. If I was you, I would be looking for that. I listen to perfume content for that sole purpose sometimes.